Hey you guys, it's Shamira, aka Mimi. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back. So you guys, it's Monday, pick a card day. Let's get straight to it. I have a three option pick a card on your current energy. Okay, I'm definitely gonna read you guys' energy. All right, this should be interesting, okay? So I do have a channel song for each pile. So please visit the description box below and choose the number of the pile or the channel song of the pile that's calling out to you the most, okay? So I already, you know, did a small spread. I can, you know, keep going. Uh, this will be a free flowing type of uh, pick a card. It's something a little different than what I usually do. I'm not sure if I want to put any more cards out. So uh, we're going to see how it's going to go. Okay. So I hope you guys had enough time. I hope you guys paused it, had enough time to choose your pile. Um, you know, I'm going to make this short and sweet, okay, nothing too drawn out because I do have some things to do. And if you guys would love to, please check out the uh, collective message, okay, I do have for you guys. Um, it, it's, it's a little deep, so it may not resonate with a lot of you guys, but if it does resonate with you, definitely hit that like, you know, that, that like, that thumbs up. Okay, like, share, subscribe. Um, of course, to all my videos, all my pick of cards, all my content, if you guys are loving what I uh, post, okay. So... Yeah, like I said, I hope you guys picked your uh, pile. Let's get straight to it, okay? So, pile one. Uh, the channel song I got for you was Sell Me No Dreams by Lettucey. Um, If you guys listen to that song, it's a really catchy type of song, okay? It's, it's almost like a I Know My Worth anthem, okay? So, if you guys are on this self-love uh, journey, this uh, journey of getting to know yourself, getting to know your worth, okay, what you guys are made of, um, I'm seeing you guys be really happy, okay, really content with where you are or who you are, who you guys are becoming. Um, you guys really don't have time to waste on other people and other things that just aren't adding to that happiness, okay? Um, so listen to that song, yes. If you're going to love me, then love me and leave me, okay? If you don't leave me, then leave me. Yeah, don't leave me hanging. Don't sell me no dreams. If you're going to love me, then love me. If you're going to leave me, then leave me. Don't leave me hanging. Don't sell me no dreams. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to pop out. So, you guys got the sun. Okay, the two of cups. The five of swords in reverse. Okay, the ten of swords. And the queen of swords okay so you guys could definitely be uh an air in a uh, fire sign okay a uh, gemini libra aquarius specifically aquarius and i'm also seeing uh leo okay with the sun so you guys are in a your current energy right now you guys are in a happy okay joyous time of your life um you guys may be focusing on or you guys may have just got out of a period of focusing on yourself you know being independent being by yourself uh, learn to find the content and happiness within your own life um, and through that through the time of finding yourself you guys uh, you learn to love yourself okay you guys learn to love all parts of yourself the good the bad and the ugly and you guys may have put a lot of uh, relationships to rest a lot of connections to rest okay I'm seeing that with the two of cups and also the ten of swords okay you guys are cutting out things to people who like i said does not add to your happiness okay if those relationships are uh not toxic those relationships are bringing you some sort of stress you guys are not going to allow yourself to be basically overrun by relationships and connections and maybe even things maybe in your own self-beliefs about yourself and what you guys deserve i'm saying you guys are in a stage right now where you are like i said at the peak of loving on yourself appreciating yourself um deem yourself as worthy of everything you guys deserve in life okay you guys may be exuding this outwardly okay not only inwardly but outwardly um some people are noticing that about you um it's something about having a sunny deposition a warm a deposition a confident deposition about yourself okay uh, when it comes to your relationships when it comes to attracting uh certain relationships okay some of you guys you show this uh, type of self-love through you know uh, your friends okay the way you guys conduct yourself around your friends you seem to be and always be in a pleasant state okay 
or a pleasant mood okay like you guys aren't really plagued by anything nothing is bothering you guys okay you guys are clear-headed okay clear-minded and um mostly in a light-hearted energy when it comes to most of your guys' connections whether it be uh friendships okay family bonds or even romantic relationships okay but you guys will um in any connections okay and in situations if you feel like they're uh, hindering you guys' happiness or they're not really adding to you guys' happiness once uh someone tries to breach this sort of energy this loving warm okay happy energy carefree energy with the sun card in the uh five of uh, swords in reverse you know this is really not worried about anything not allowing things to get to you mentally okay um yeah so if you guys are this state you guys are in is kind of threatened you guys will be put it into whatever is threatening that okay whatever uh threatens to end this uh peace okay this inner peace or this inner happiness or joy okay you guys are not uh shy about it either you guys will tell people to their face I will fucking cut you off, okay? If you interfere with my my uh my happiness, okay? Listen to that song. If you're gonna love me, then love me. If you're gonna leave me, uh, then leave me. Don't leave me hanging, okay? Don't sell me no dreams. If you ever if you're gonna be for me, if you're gonna you know be in my life, of course be realistic. But don't play with my energy, okay? Do not play with my happiness. If you guys are not, uh finding connections or you guys are not interacting with people who are genuine or who want to genuinely be in your life you guys are like you know uh don't come towards me with ill intentions okay you guys are open to love open to connections and relationships and stuff like that and being around other people but you guys really don't want people to come in falsely you guys want people to be in your energy uh whether just gonna take from you okay or cause you any sort of trouble or mental instability um yeah, like I said, something about you guys not being afraid to tell people, like, uh, get the fuck on. Okay, definitely get out of my life, get out of my energy. I don't need you here because I'm good on my own. Okay, I'm definitely seeing that you guys are being a little more vocal because also with the uh, swords, you, you get communication, not only the thought processes, but I'm also getting the way you guys communicate to people. And I'm seeing that um, <laughs> the way you guys communicate to people or communicate this to people is very in your face. Okay, it's straightforward. It's really blunt. Okay, it's really cutting. Um, it, it probably will hurt people's feelings, but... Um, you guys are like, I'd rather hurt your feelings for five seconds than allow you to come into my life and ruin a whole year or two or a decade of my life. Lose the hell of time of my life and my happiness dealing with you. So fuck your feelings, okay? You guys are definitely in this type of fuck your feelings energy. Okay, Paul One. So yeah, um, listen to that song. She, she's, oh, I can feel the power of uh, the meanings behind the word, okay? The feelings, the power behind the word she's speaking, okay? Don't let me hang it. Don't stop me no dreams. Yeah. Because my time is valuable. And if you want to love me, then love me. If you want to leave, then leave me. Don't let me hang it. Don't stop me no dreams. And if I give a hundred, don't give a half. Don't give me half back. Because I'm not going to let you love me like that. Okay. So you guys are um, not having it with people. You guys are not putting up with the bullshit. You guys are not putting up with inauthentic or unauthentic people. Um, because you guys just know what's for you, what's not for you, which you guys just are not going to tolerate. Okay. I feel like you guys have a low tolerance for people, um, just for people period. Okay. For relationships and people coming into your life, trying to ruin your life or bring some sort of disharmony through relationships. Okay. You guys are not allowing other people, um, to mess up your, your happiness or your joy, which you guys have going on. You guys just are not having it. Okay. You're very vocal about it. So that is your current energy power one, okay? So if you guys like this, hit the like button. If you guys feel like it didn't resonate, choose another pile or whatever, okay? Um, like, share, subscribe, comment, and I definitely will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, Paul 2. So, Paul 2, your current energy. Okay, I did pull a small spread. I will pull some more cards if I feel the need to. And I also got a channel song. Your channel song is I Remember You, My Ex. Okay, about music, soul child, and hip boy. Okay, yeah, I remember you, my ex. I think it's the reason why you, my ex. Okay, oh, oh, so I'm gonna show you guys the cards first. Okay, so you guys got the world card. Okay. 
the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So power to your current energy right now and it's closing out cycles, getting rid of people. Um, and also reminding people, putting up a healthy, strong boundary and reminding people, um, this has been over, okay? Um, you're my ex, so don't call me, don't text me. Some of you guys are feeling like you have a really soft, gentle heart. Um, some of you definitely could be water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you guys have a soulful spirit about you. I'm seeing you guys are the type of person when you guys love, you love deep, you love hard, okay? When you guys give your all to people, when you guys give people the world, or you guys make people or person the center of your world you guys uh, hold them in a high regard you guys give them your all okay or people don't give you that in return you guys seem to uh it seems to chip away at you guys or you guys just lose a piece of yourself every time you do that okay so some of you guys have fallen into that cycle you're at a point in your life almost like power one where you guys have a low tolerance for people and relationships and people not adding to you and giving to you properly okay so you guys because of the certain soft and gentle heart of yours you may uh you may, like I said, give a lot, okay, not only to the people you guys are involved with romantically, but you guys just give a lot overall as a person, okay? You guys are learning to, like I said, uh, not hurt yourself anymore. Look at the situation for what it is, not for what you guys want it to be, and realize the reality of a situation, you know, really assess it and uh, behave, okay, and conduct yourself in a way that fits that situation, okay? You guys are not in a mode or a mood to be giving out your heart or overly given to people in situations who just do not give you enough in return if you guys are given the world you guys are like i deserve the world back and if i don't get that then um i have to put up this boundary with you okay i gotta put up this nine of wands with you and let you know what it is okay because you know i I, sh I should be in the nine of, of pinnacles upright i should be fulfilled i should be feeling uh replenished okay whenever i interact with you but if you're constantly taking from me, you know, I'm constantly in a state of trying to get myself together, okay? So some of you guys have realized that you have given too much to a lot of people, a lot of situations, uh, specifically when it comes to relationships, okay? Some of you guys may have um, this really gentle, soft heart and the people who you guys were in contact with or connected with romantically know this. So they still might ask you guys to do certain favors. Um, I'm looking at that video. Um, you might have an ex who you guys are best friends with uk you guys like uh are inseparable in some way even though the relationship didn't make break kind of work out romantically um and i couldn't get my words together damn why is it so hard for me to talk today okay so you guys can't really um you have a hard time telling this person no okay some of you guys are looking at it like you know how am I going to be able to get, to get rid of this person or get over this person if I'm constantly doing favors for them, if I constantly have the door open for them to come in, okay? If I'm constantly tending to this friendship because some people, they do kind of, if they don't work out romantically, they uh, work out as far as friends, but you guys may have a habit of doing this and you guys realize that even though you are this person's friend, it's not really, uh, I would say, helping you guys in the long run is not really progressing you guys is not really giving back to you guys it's not really fulfilling you guys to be friends with people who hurt you who have who have bought you some sort of damage in some sort of way i'm seeing emotional damage okay emotional instability um yeah you might have your exes still want to be friends with you still calling you up to help them move or to maybe even i'm seeing do their taxes just they want to be involved with you in some way where you guys are giving to them and fulfilling them or bringing them some sort of fulfillment. But you guys aren't getting the same in return. You guys are in this energy right now. Your current energy is blocking people off and setting up healthy boundaries with them people, okay? Um, and sometimes when interacting with these people, you guys realize how selfish they are, how demanding they are. You guys are like, you know, um, how much they take from you, how much time and energy they take from you by constantly imposing themselves in your life or asking you guys to do certain things that you guys feel like it's just not is 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 not your duty or your job to do that okay some of you guys may have uh exes okay ex partners ex lovers um still expecting you guys to take care of them some of you guys may have been that type of person who um when you guys were in a relationship with your person you may have paid their bills okay and stuff like that maybe uh 
supported them financially but you guys are like you know what some things i know i should not be taking on or it's not my responsibility to, to take on because this I, these are not my responsibility this is not my damn life these are not my children this is not my house this is not my car payments this is not my responsibility okay um you guys could have lost out on a lot of uh i would say of your own stability your own uh your own money uh, I would say tending to these exes or tending to these people you guys were in a relationship with, okay? You guys are starting to realize that it's kind of causing you guys a lot of discomfort and, and uh, I would say inconvenience, okay? You guys are realizing, like, why am I dealing with this, okay? If the relationship didn't work out, uh, we're not together, why am I still feeling the need to give to them, okay? They have to understand I can't come rescue them. I can't come comfort them. I can't come... You know what I'm saying? Like some of these people have a unhealthy attachment to you or you guys have allowed these people to have an unhealthy attachment to you guys by not putting up strong boundaries and, and letting them know like after we break up, you know, the money has to stop. I have to stop paying for your bills or after we break up, um, I can't continue to, you know, take your children to school or babysit. I can't do that shit. OK, because it's in some way taken from me. I ain't getting shit from it. OK, why am I still giving you the benefits and I'm not benefiting from it? Okay, and some of you guys, you may be still uh, passionate with some of these people too. And they may use that as a reason for you guys to give to them financially because I can't lie and I can't not say what I see. Okay, with the nine of wands. Okay, um, some of these people, some of these exes, some of these past relationships, uh, they still in some way want to, they want to be involved with you guys sexually. You guys know how your heart is. You guys know that you still have feelings tied to these people. And every time you guys get into bed with them, I'm hearing do a leap or new, new rules, okay? Yeah. You're only going to wake up in his bed in the morning. Yeah, if you're under him. You ain't getting over him. Yeah. So... <laughs> Some of you guys realize that after you, you know, interact with them on a physical level, you know, maybe sexual, that they end up bringing out feelings and emotions out of you guys that you don't like to feel, okay? And you guys know that the relationship is over, you know, world card. You can't, you feel like you don't really have uh, the right to feel what you're feeling because you know it's over, okay? And some of you guys know that... It, this interaction, okay, you guys still being connected to these people are still hurting you, still hindering you in some way, it's taken from you. And it's not really bringing you guys a pleasure that it wants to watch you guys, okay? If you guys understand what I'm saying, if you guys are emotionally tied to a person and you know that they, this person doesn't feel the same way, they're not reciprocating their feelings, um, why would you get back physical with them and, and tie your emotions back into them if they're not feeling the same way if it's over, okay? You guys have just set yourself up to get hurt. So you guys are starting to put up healthy boundaries, you know, for yourself against these people because, you know, it's, it's not really going to bring you any type of fulfillment in any way. Um, not the fulfillment that you guys once felt with this connection, okay, or with these people. I keep hearing that because it's more than one. It's not only, you know, friends, but it's also, uh, it's not only lovers, but it's also friends and family, you know, uh, friends that in some way, uh, maybe some of you guys, kind of went there with your some of your friends okay you went physical with your friends but some of you guys could have emotions for these friends and and they kind of play on those emotions that you have for them to get what they want to get out of you whether it be you know physical or financial okay but you guys are not receiving or reaping the benefits you guys are releasing these people or releasing these situations because you know it's, it's, it's not any good for you okay and you guys are definitely in that energy of protecting your energy, protecting your sanity, okay? You're protecting your body and protecting your finances, okay? Specifically protecting your, your mind, okay? Yeah, so that is your current energy, Paul, too. Um, a lot of exes, okay? You guys letting them know what you guys are not willing to take on and the responsibilities that are uh, once again, theirs and not yours. You guys are drawing that healthy boundary with these people. And that's the type of energy you guys are on. Um, and I'm also hearing that if you guys have a homeboy, okay, a homegirl, um, they know you guys have feelings for them. Uh, but you guys want to just keep it platonic or you guys just don't want to be friends anymore because you guys feel like if you guys did get physical and this person just doesn't feel the same way, that they were just probably lying to plan on your feelings to get what they want out of you. 
Um, you guys are for sure uh, blocking them out. You guys are doing it boldly and telling them boldly, okay? So it's no, it's not really a discussion. It's not up for discussion for these people to have a say on your boundaries, okay? You guys are just showing them, okay? I can show you better than I can tell you. Um, get your ass on, okay? <laughs> ain't my problem, ain't my responsibility. You my ex, okay? Let's keep it at that, okay? And some of these people are so used to you guys giving to them that they feel entitled to you. They feel entitled to your energy, entitled to your, your body, entitled to your money. Um, and you guys are letting them know, hell no, you're not entitled to shit, okay? So you definitely are putting people in their place. Um, humbling them, okay? And reminding them that um, you don't run this, okay? You don't run my life. I do. Okay, when I say it's over, it's over. So, um, yeah, about to. And that's all I have for you guys. I didn't feel the need to pull anything else. But if you guys like this, of course, hit the like button, like, share, subscribe. Or if not, choose another pile or leave it all together. I am mad at you, okay? And that's up to we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So Paul 3, excuse me, Paul 3, that took a deep breath, okay? I had to get this out because I felt so happy, okay? It's not like uh, the other pals. I'm feeling more of a love vibe. So um, Paul 3, you guys' current energy, the song I chose for you guys, okay? The channel song was Last One by Savannah Ray featuring Dylan Sinclair, okay? Ooh, nothing before. Matters no more. I'm going to be the last one to love you now. Love you now. Okay. So you guys got the four of swords, all three, and the lovers. So you guys should definitely be a Gemini. Okay. Gemini energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys are an air sign. Um, you guys are more in the energy of, uh, I would say, healthy love. Okay. You guys are all about that healthy love. Okay. What it means to love people healthily in a healthy way. Um, you guys have healed something within yourself. Maybe heal you guys' heart chakra, okay? You guys are all about love right now. For some reason, I, I wanted to get this out in, in another reading because I was going to do a collective reading, but I've been seeing a lot of wedding gowns, a lot of wedding things, or, um, you know, in my in my waking life, okay, in my life, I've been seeing it on magazines, on, like, buses, billboards, like, uh, wedding expos. I've been seeing it on social media, Getting like little, uh, you know, like little ads and stuff here and there, commercials about weddings and wedding expos, seeing wedding dress things and stuff like that. Or, um, yeah, just people. Maybe I think it is. Is it still wedding season? I think wedding season is from October to April, late September. The peak of it is October. And I think it's April. That's when a lot of people do most of their weddings. Okay, during those times, but. <clears throat> Yeah, you guys could for sure be an air sign, a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, you guys could definitely be a Libra. Okay, you may have just gotten married, something about October, just gotten married or engaged. Uh, or you guys are trying to plan your wedding for next October. If you guys haven't already had your wedding, I'm saying you guys are all into love. Okay, building healthy love relationships and healthy love connections. Uh, something that is truly healing to not only, uh, you know, your soul, your own self, but also the people around you. Okay, you guys are all about showing people um, your dedication and your, your love for them. Okay. And I'm also hearing, this sounds so funny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Swords. I'm telling the truth. Okay. You guys are all about that. So you guys could be, uh, I would say, improving your communication skills with your person. Okay. Or with people around you. Like I said, letting them know how much you guys care for them. You guys are being a little more vocal. Okay. About how you guys are feeling, what you guys are feeling, and what you guys are feeling for certain people. You are letting people know where they stand in your life, the place that they hold in your life and in your heart, okay? Um, some of you guys could have went through a near-death experience. I'm saying you guys could have been through some sort of sickness. Uh, maybe you have something to do with the lungs, okay? Breathing, air, air signs, okay? So you guys could have had pneumonia, okay? Or maybe even COVID, okay? Something to do with your, uh, your lungs, your breathing, okay? The heart and throat chakra, 
Okay, I'm seeing that it was a blockage, a previous blockage in your guys' throat chakra, whether you guys had issues with communicating um, or expressing your feelings, okay, to your people that you love, not only romantic love, but I'm seeing relationships period, okay, maybe you guys had to heal something, okay, and uh, I had something to do with the physical ailment, I'm seeing if you guys did have a uh, throat chakra blockage, it was due to uh, that ailment, that ailment was... Uh, that's the physical manifestation of that throat chakra blockage, okay? Some of you guys are just getting over pneumonia or a cold, okay? Something to do with the lungs. You guys' lungs were affected, okay? It's not for everyone, but I'm definitely feeling this for someone, okay? And because of that certain, you know, experience, I'm saying you guys may have gotten scared, okay? A little afraid, like, I might die and never tell people how I feel about them, you know? Some of you guys are definitely um, extra, you know, <laughs> you guys are extra dramatic when it comes to stuff like that. Um, and that kind of gets you guys, okay? You do go through a lot of crazy experiences, but you have one experience that just makes you want to live a better life. You guys want to do much better in life. So um, that could have been the reason why you got to phone the need to express. Did you so much expressing, okay, not only of the the love feelings, but you guys want to express using your voice, okay? So <clears throat> you guys could be improving your your uh, your communication skills when it comes to not only, like I said, your relationship, but also the relationships around you, maybe coworkers and friends. You guys are starting to speak up more. Um, and, and let people know how much you guys appreciate their their input and their effort when it comes to you guys' connection and relationship. I'm seeing that your relationships around you are starting to improve, okay, or they're going to improve from now on as much as you guys, or I would say uh, the more you guys to learn to properly um, and kindly, okay, passionately um, speak, okay, speak from the heart, okay? You guys are definitely speaking from the heart. You guys are a type of person who likes to think before they speak, okay? Or you guys have learned to think before you speak because you guys want to get it right. You guys want to speak it right. Say it right, okay? Say it in such a way that people around you can comprehend what you guys are feeling in the inside, okay? So you guys may be uh, uh, simplifying, okay? A, a way to say that you love a person, okay? You're definitely saying it in a way they can comprehend, whether it be actually telling them, okay? Or you guys may even say it in a song, okay? But you're definitely letting people know what's in here, okay? By improving your communication skills. And I feel like some of you guys in Pile 3 could have uh, struggled with that a lot, okay? And I'm also seeing if you guys smoke, um, you should stop smoking, Okay? Stop smoking because it might affect the lungs or it may worsen you guys' bronchitis or uh, asthma. Um, <clears throat> or uh, it may uh, worsen you guys' pneumonia or something like that. Okay? I'm here. I keep hearing. Um, once you get a taste of me, the past will never be. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So... I hear some of you guys may be telling or divulging your feelings or your love to a person in your life right now. Definitely can be a lover of yours um, because you guys have healed that part of yourself. You guys have healed your throat chakra, even your heart chakra. Um, you guys have fully opened up. Okay, you guys are fully deciding to open up to this person and let them know how you feel, okay? This person is going to love it, and I'm hearing that you guys' relationship is going to approve because of it, Okay. And this person will maybe it, it will uh, kind of calm their mind because I'm also hearing that if you guys are used to dealing with the air sign um, <clears throat> or people who thrive on communication because of you guys' blockage, this person may have had a lot of anxiety, okay? A lot of worries around you guys' connection, okay? And I'm hearing that you guys are in this mood of finally giving this person the reassurance that you guys aren't going anywhere because you guys could have had a lot of issues in your love life or in your relationships around you because people didn't know where they stood with you. Okay, I'm seeing you guys doing that right now. So um, you guys' this current energy is uh, clearing up communication, okay? And uh, expressing those loving feelings and those loving emotions and thoughts that you have for people around you, whether it be your lover, okay, telling your lover, I love you, I'm never going to go anywhere, I'm not going anywhere, or I appreciate you and everything you do, or letting your co-workers know, your friends know, I love being friends with you, you know, I really do appreciate you, I'm grateful for you, I'm thankful for you, 
um yeah letting them know you're not going anywhere and i'm seeing that um because of you guys' uh, blockage, your throat chakra blockage, you could have had some, uh, a, a, I would say a boss, okay? Wondering if you guys want to stay. They feel like you guys aren't happy at your job. I'm seeing that if you guys are usually a talkative person, you guys have uh, kind of quiet yourself down. I'm seeing you guys kind of turn that misunderstanding up and you guys are letting people know around you what you're thinking and how you're feeling, what you guys are going through, because some of you guys, it may take you a while to kind of work through what you guys are feeling. You guys have to intellectualize your emotions first before you actually deal with them. And I feel like you guys are coming out the period of doing that. And you, you are uh, more likely to share that with other people around you. So they won't take it personal because if you guys are jovial and loud, okay. Talking to a person, maybe a social person, you guys' behavior, if you are the type of person who, like I said, likes to go in with in and kind of deal with things on your own you guys have to process them process them mentally before you express them um let people know that because i feel like it, it will it will uh clear up a lot of uh misunderstandings and also hurt feelings because um you may have had some people in their feelings around you okay if you guys weren't speaking to them or, or saying things to them it wasn't really anything personal um, or something they should have took personal it was something you guys had to get through okay you guys had to work through so I'm saying you guys are healed from it. You guys have already uh, processed your feelings and you're ready to express that. But I'm hearing um, the song, Last One. Um, it's a person around you right now who um, I would say is a lover. Okay? It's a lover. Okay? They want you to know that even if they're not... No, it's not your lover, okay? I'm, I don't know why I almost said that, okay? I don't know why I almost said that. Maybe, yeah, this is your person's energy if this isn't you. But I'm hearing that you expressing yourself to this person is, is kind of bringing this person healing to their mind, to their soul. Because if you guys are normally talkative, you guys are normally expressive, you guys pulled yourself back, this person, this lover, could have taken them personally to the point where, you know, they probably thought you guys didn't want to be with them. Um... You know, but I'm seeing that this is going to bring their mind some sort of relief. It's going to have them stop stressing. So I do see you guys reassuring this person. Like, I do love you. Okay. I I feel the way I feel about you. You know, I'm definitely going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. I do want to be in this relationship. But I just was working through things. Okay. So I, I'm seeing that this person, if they were being a little uh, moody based on you guys' behavior, because they were internalizing you guys' uh, pulling back, okay, or lack of expression, or lack of communication, I'm seeing this person um, experiencing some sort of relief, okay, when it comes to you guys letting them know or clearing, clearing how you guys feel up, okay? The more you guys communicate, the, the I will say the better experience you guys will have in your, in your relationship, specifically with your romantic partner, with your person, okay? Let them know. It's nothing for you to worry about. Sometimes I just, I need time and I need space. If you're seeing that, it will eliminate a lot, okay? And if your person is used to texting you or talking to you at a certain time, you guys get busy because of work or because you guys are going through something mentally, um, you guys are processing some things, let them know, hey, baby, I, I might not say nothing to you all day. Um, I'm busy or I'm trying to process something right now. I'm not mad at you. You might have to tell people that, okay? Specifically, a lot of air signs or people with, uh, I would say a uh, air or Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Mercury placement because they have a tendency to overthink and overanalyze certain things. Okay. So just by you telling your person, hey, this is this, this is that, I'm going through this and that, it, it will, yeah, it will make things much easier for yourself. Um, if you don't believe me, please, baby, try it. I promise you. I promise you I ain't lying to you. Someone needs to hear that. Communicate more, talk more. Uh, say things out loud because even though your person doesn't tell you they need to hear it, they need to hear it. And that's definitely for someone, okay? So that is your current energy, uh, Pal 3, expressing yourself, okay? Verbal expression about your love, okay? And appreciation for people around you, specifically in your relationships, okay? Um, and particularly your romantic relationship, okay? you uh letting them know reassuring them that you ain't going nowhere okay sometimes you just go through some things and you just need space and time to deal with it 
Okay, a lot of uh, improvement in communication fall through. So if you guys like this, hit the like button, like, share, subscribe, or choose another pile I am at at you, all right? But um, yeah, I definitely will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.